Hello everyone, welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. This video will show you how to add animations to any element on your website using animate.css and wow.js. But you don't have to know anything about CSS animations or JavaScript to be able to do this within just 5 minutes. Let's get started. Let's use this simple web page for a demo. As you can see, right now there's no animation on this page. But within just a few minutes, we will turn this into an animated web page with smooth and beautiful animations like this. Let's start. If you take a look at the code, we have our first section here within which we have a heading element, paragraph and an image element. And in the next section, we have another heading, paragraph and a row with column 1, 2 and 3. For the animations, we make use of a library known as wow.js. So search for wow.js, here it is. Let's quickly go to how to use. Here you can see that to set up wow.js, we need to link it to animate.css. Let's go to that. And if you scroll down here, in the documentation, you can go to installation and usage. Coming down, we can directly link it using a CDN. So we can copy this and paste. But there is an issue. With animate.cs 4.x version, pov.js is not yet compatible for some reason. So let's go to cdn.js to get a lower version of animate CSS. So type animate CSS here. Click on this. Select a version lower than 4. So we can go to 3.7.2 and click on this to copy the link tag directly. Paste it in your code above your style sheet. Now go back to wow.js documentation. Step 1 complete. Step 2 is to link and activate wove.js. But something that's not mentioned here in this documentation is that we need to include jQuery library for wow.js to work. So in the same cdn.js website, search for jQuery. Copy the latest version. Come to your code and paste this line just before closing the body tag. Now let's go back to the CDN and get the link for wow.js. Search wow.js, take the latest version, copy the script tag, come back and paste it here below the jQuery library. Now that's very important. Now we have our jQuery library and wow.js also. Let's go back and we need to initialize the animations. So paste this here. Now we are all set. Let's go see what is the next step. Now to reveal the animations, we need to make an element revealable, which means we need to add class equals wow to the element that we want to animate. Let's try out with the h1 tag first. So h1 add class equals wow. We need to choose the animation style from animate.css. So if you go to animate.css and scroll up, you can see on the right side that these are the different kinds of animations available for you, like bounce, fade, bounce out, zoom in, and so on. Let me try fade in down for my heading. Yes, this looks good. So copy this animation and paste it here. Let me remove the animate underscore underscore that's not required when you use it along with wow.js. Let's see if this works. Go to the web page, refresh. Great, we have the fade in down animation. It's as simple as that. Now we just need to add this wow class and the animation effect to every other element that we want animated and it's done. So let's do this next to the p element class equals wow and let me choose zoom in 
Does this work? Yes, it does. Let's animate the image next. Class equals wow. And let me add a fade in up. Let's check this. And yes, we have all three elements on the landing page animating. Now, if you observe, all three of them are animating at the same time. But what if we want one element to animate with a slight delay after another? For this, we have something called as data wow delay attribute. We can copy this data wow delay. It's mentioned, the value is mentioned in seconds. So add this here to the P element. And let me change it to 0.5 seconds. So we just want the starting after half a second. Let's add it to the image also with a one second delay and see what this looks like. Refresh the page and this looks perfect, just the way we want it. Now coming to the next section, let's animate all these elements. H1 class equals wow. And let me add a flip in X, which makes the heading flip along the X axis for the paragraph class wow zoom in effect again for all the columns i want the left column fading in from left so i add fade in left the center column to fade in up and the last column to fade in from right now let's see great let's also add the delays to these elements as well so go back and copy the data delay attribute, data warp delay. For the paragraph element again, 0.5 seconds. And for all these three columns, let me make it one second itself. So this is done. Let's check. Again, perfect. Let's see how the whole page looks like. Refresh, scroll down. And that's it. This is all we needed. And you were able to do this within just five minutes without any knowledge of CSS animations or JavaScript. Before you try this out on your own, just remember one thing, and that is not to overdo it. Too much of animation also annoys the users. So make sure you keep it simple and subtle and beautiful. All the best. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.